What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the um, Miami Dolphins offense um, from our game against the Bengals. Um, so, real quick, I, could, I just kind of want to look at the numbers real quick because for some reason the stats for uh, NFL.com still aren't working. I'm not sure why. Um, so, Teddy Bridgewater, 14 for 23, 193 yards, touchdown at pick. That's not terrible considering the time he played. And that's the thing. Uh, it's pretty likely that Tua is not going to be playing for a little while. Um, so Teddy's going to be stepping in. And luckily our schedule moving forward isn't super crazy. And I think with the weapons we have, I, I think Teddy can probably win us some games. Uh, Raheem Mostert, 15 carries, 69 yards, 4.6 yards per carry. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh, didn't have a crazy game running the ball. Uh, Jalen Waddle didn't do a whole lot, but Tyree Kill obviously had a pretty good game. So let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first drive, 10 plays. Okay. Let's go. Whoop. Game pass is already starting with this bullshit. Start off with a handoff. Nice physical run. Um, I've seen a lot of people saying that we should pick up a running back. I mean, I, I don't hate the idea of doing that. Um, if we put if we picked up like a power back to just kind of go with uh, Moster and Edmonds just to kind of be a change of pace back, I don't hate that idea. Um, there certainly are some guys available. You know, Duke Johnson was able to run pretty physically for us last year, uh, actually in his game against the Jets. Um, Peyton Barber is available as well. There's some other guys too. This is a great throw from Tua. Squeeze it right between these two defenders. You know, Tyree Kill just being great. Alec Gingold in motion. Another great throw. Jesus. Got it right past that linebacker. He's a very accurate passer, man. And we were finally letting him, like, attack downfield, which is what I really wanted us to start doing last year. Sherfield in motion. That got deflected. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at Tua's eyes there. So you stare the receiver down? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. That can make deflections a little easier. Sherfield in motion. Fantastic throw. Good route, too. Good play design. Get him in motion. Hmm. It's pretty fun, especially if they're going to be um, playing off a little bit. A little end around. Yeah, don't get really anything there, though. Put Edmonds out wide. And that empty set. Oof. Tua is such an accurate passer, though, man. It's a pretty good route for them from a running back, too. Good catch. I do like the idea of putting Tyreek Hill back there at running back. I think that's kind of fun. At some point, we're going to hand it to him. I know he's a running back, but he's got to catch that. Let's 
Shout out to Jason Sanders. Alright, let's take a look at, uh... We'll go straight to... We'll, we'll, we'll skip the penalty. Eh, sure. Just get Tyreek Hill the ball in open space and just let him be fast. Like the sound of that. Should probably do a whole lot of that with Teddy at quarterback. I want to take as much pressure off of his shoulders as possible. That is a fantastic fucking throw, dude. I don't think I need to tell you how good of a throw that is. This is probably the safer read if you're not going to be... Like, this ball has to be perfectly over this guy. Oh. Can I get a better look at that? Yeah, they should give us a pretty good view of it. <sighs> he stepped up out of the pressure, too, to his left. Tron Armstead's getting beat to the outside. He's able to step up in the pocket, deliver a perfect throw. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I guess we don't get to see the interception. For NFL.com, the drive ends there, apparently. You know, you can see first and ten. It's just a little short run why is it bugging out yeah I fucking hate this website dude if anybody has better alternatives for uh, getting all 22s please let me know also if you have a good source for college all 22s I'll take that too Decent little run from Edmonds. Again, no, no kind of consistency with us running the ball still, which is unfortunate. But we have played some pretty good teams to start with, so hopefully we can start getting something going. Now that our schedule kind of lightens up a little. That's a good job by Tyreek Hill realizing the hole in the zone, too. When this linebacker comes down, he knows that the middle of the field is going to be wide open for him. And he just kind of sits down in it. Love that. Not much there. This is where a power back would, would be nice. So we don't have to do, like all the time, we don't have to do these, all these crazy things to try to run the ball. It would be nice to occasionally be able to just hand somebody off the ball and just let them run through somebody. Even if it was just like a Peyton Barber, someone who's not necessarily crazy talented, but is just kind of sitting there in free agency. This is a change of pace. Yeah, that's going to get the PI every time. But also, if I'm Cheeto there, I'm grabbing Tyreek's arm there too. And granted, he did have safety help, but still. Good throw. 
Good little slant from. Actually, it's not a slant. I was looking at uh, Tyree Kill there. That's Waddle in motion. Hill is going to run a little bit of a slant to clear this guy out and get him get him to move. So that leaves okay. Waddle open. The, actually dropped it. Never mind. Good route though. And good play design. Decent route. Very tough throw. Terry Kill could have been interesting there. Throw that one away. Okay. Take the field goal there. Okay. What is... Uh... Alright, if that's a run, we're going to go into end zone view because unfortunately I do want to take a look at the sack as well and also this three yard run we may as well look at from this view too and from here we're going to be looking at Teddy Bridgewater which is important tape to, to take a look at nothing crazy there uh Mangles handled that well. Okay. Unfortunately, we do have to take a look at this play. It's really a coverage sack. Two ahead time here. Connor Williams. I mean, the amount of distance that Tua has here. Yeah, it's not even really on the offensive line. Tua had plenty of time. It's just unfortunate. Let me um Let me take a look at the other view of this. I want to see what the receivers were doing. Two was probably looking at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he could have gotten that. But I'm glad he was able to leave the hospital. Hopefully, he's going to be okay, man. That really crushed my soul seeing him get hurt like that. But let's uh, take a look at Teddy. He holds the ball kind of a while there. Luckily, they're only rushing three. We have a crosser here, but he holds in the pocket looking for more. I mean, it ends up being a good thing because we do get more out of it, but get the Trent Sherfield. Makes it an easier field goal at least, so I don't hate it. Angled in motion. Yeah, nowhere to really go there. The angles just maintaining their gaps properly. That's really what that comes down to. That uh, that's Tyree Kill in motion. A couple more yards. 
I think these next few games, like I said, I think uh, getting the run going is going to be important. I mean, I do think Teddy, with these weapons we have, I, I think can be more than serviceable. But... Nice throw. Giving us plenty of space. Yeah, that's going to be open every time. Because we have uh, Kisiki. Was that on a crosser? Yeah. So he's going to take this linebacker away, so that's going to be open every time. Given that situation. You can see that pre-snap. Sherfield in motion. Yeah, just throw that away. That's fair. Uh, did he have any better options? Yeah. Sherfield was wide open for a while there. But Teddy did get thrusted into into the middle of this after a really bad situation with Tua. Hopefully, you know, a worse opponent than the Bengals. I mean, the Jets have been playing well. Do not underestimate them. But hopefully, you know, with actually being able to prepare to be the starter. And he didn't play terribly. By any means. Like, that's a pretty good throw. Got it right in front of the linebacker. Hang on. So, kind of confused here. Um, I know Adam Shaheen is on IR. I'm guessing that was Tanner Connor. I didn't even know that he went into the game. Um, he was a standout in preseason and camp. This is a penalty anyway, so nothing really happens. But I'm pretty sure that's him there in the sleeves. I didn't even notice he went into the game. I would like to see us start using him a little bit. Yeah, he's way too small to be uh, Shaheen. That's definitely him. I couldn't remember what number he was. I don't think he was 80 in uh, preseason. He's still out there. And especially with Teddy, I think it would make a lot of sense to start using people like him and Sherfield more. Because that's who he got to play with a lot in preseason. Kasiki in motion. Teddy's just not as confident in his accuracy there. There was definitely some throws to be made there. Right there, Waddle. Kasiki. Tua definitely would have hit that. He would have hit Waddle there for sure. And he scrambles and makes a play, but he missed the easy, big, even bigger play. Hill in motion. Like I said, maybe with him being a yeah, being able to prepare to be a starter. This is a Chase Edmonds more than anything. This is fun play design too. Well, very well blocked too. We get Tyreek Hill in motion to kind of pull the linebackers to the right. 
Oh. I want to look at this from the other view. Yeah, I definitely need the end zone view for this play. I need to see the blocking. No. Oh, I hate NFL Plus, dude. I fucking hate it. So, like I said, when Tyreek Hill goes in motion, that pulls the linebackers over just slightly. So that makes a little bit of room. Chase Edmonds is on a bit of a delay. And who are the... Is that a... So Connor Williams is going to help Robert Hunt at first, but then he's going to come out here and try to block these linebackers along with... Uh, Tron Armstead, and then just a physical run from Chase Edmonds. Fantastic contact balance. Ah, that's so much fun. Good play design, good blocking, good physical running is what makes that that happen. All right, Alec and Gold in motion. All right, what happened there? It looked like him and looked like Alec and Gold and Durham Smythe kind of got confused on who they were supposed to block there. Bottle in motion. Yep. Offside. Also, um, did y'all see Sunday, the uh, Cowboys game? Um, their center, uh, Tyler Biotish, like, pointed toward the linebacker, which the center on a lot of teams typically does. That's to point out the mic. Um, they called that neutral zone infraction. How the fuck does that work? The center is the neutral zone. I don't understand that. <laughs> but that's just something I thought of when I seen the penalty. That is horrid. Not in love with the play design either. Yeah, we had a running back in the flat. And also had Hill. You have to make a good throw to do it, but it's definitely doable. Luckily it was out of bounds, but that was definitely interceptable. That's, that's a bad throw, too. That's a possible play. He just has to lead that more to the sideline. Is that a Craycraft? Yeah. So, Craycraft and... um. And Tanner Connor are both wearing the full aqua sleeves. Good to know. Or at least they were this game. Craycraft wasn't in previous games. All right. In gold in motion. Mostert. Decent little run there.
But I also, because I mentioned I, I don't hate the idea of signing a running back. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think we have to. I just think we need to block better. But I, I, again, I wouldn't mind a change of pace back. Kaseki in motion. Teddy's just like a second late with a lot of these reads, man. Kaseki's open right now. This ball should already be out. That allows the defender to notice what's happening. Take a look at this field goal drive. Whoop. Hill in motion. Good vision there, taking what you can get. Good block by uh, Sherfield here, too. Sherfield's an easy one to notice with those orange cleats. That's a great throw. Under pressure, too. I can't even... Can't even complain about that one. That, that That's a great throw. Sure feel it in motion. Kind of ran out of arm there. Luckily, Tyreek Hill is fan-fucking-tastic. But if Teddy's going to go deep like that, he's got to get the ball out sooner. He definitely ran out of arm. But luckily, Ted, I mean, um, Tyreek is able to get it off the, off the deflection. Teddy to a Tyreek. That, that, it's fucking with me. Then if you want to say Trent Sherfield. <laughs> Teron Armstead. <laughs> a lot of T's in this offense. Tanner Connor. All right. That got stuck there, Jesus. Oof. Yeah, no one really open. Probably just throw that one away. He risked an interception there, throwing the double coverage. There was nobody open, though. This was great coverage. But I'd rather him just throw it away there. He was out of the pocket. You don't need to force it. Okay. 
play action. Nice little throw there. Good little play design to get Tyreek Hill involved early in a drive. Don't hate that. There's really not much in the run game, man. <clears throat> not much at all. That guy just went unblocked. Yeah, there's no one there between Little and Smythe, and he fills that gap perfect, dude. Give it to a pitch for Mostert. He's so fast, man. If he does get a crease, he's gone, dude. This is why I say, like, I think our running backs are fine. We just need to block better. Just look at that. Look at this. This guy is free of Liam Eichenberg right now. And he somehow clears both of those two. <laughs> that is insanity. That is just speed and acceleration at its best. They stopped that time, though. Greg Little kind of had a hard game. Robert Hunt a little bit, too. That right side. Why is this so blurry? Jesus. There we go. Cleared up a little bit. Are there any better options for Teddy there? Not really. Eh, it's a kind of a hard throw on the move. But Waddle could have been an option. I do like that from Teddy. Bengals cover this up pretty damn well. No one's really open. Not at all. So he's able to buy some time. Still no one's open, so he's just going to take off. And then get out of bounds. Protect yourself and the ball. He still gets kind of pushed, but... Still. Teddy still has some athleticism to him. For sure. A little toss. Most of it's able to get what he can out of that. Not mad at that at all. All right. Good block by Liam. Sure, field in motion. Yeah, just kind of throw that one away. He was under quite a bit of pressure there. Greg Little was getting smoked by Sam Hubbard. Does it not show this interception either? I guess not.
This is the production of a multi-billion dollar company, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. NFL can't put together a website that works. Good throw to Hill there. And good job by Hill. Um, finding the weakness in the zone and just kind of sitting down in it. Same deal here. And Tyreek Hill just... What the fuck? <laughs> he didn't even try. He didn't chase him either. Not that there's a point in chasing Tyreek Hill, but... I know if I was the coach, I'd be pretty pissed. He wasn't trying to tackle nobody. Good play by the linebacker there. Shout out to Teddy there. Greg Little got smoked again. <laughs> he just got bull rushed, man. Sam Hubbard beat him with a swim move, a cloth pull, a bull rush. Everything he'd put on Greg Little, it worked. Terrible feet there. Let's uh, take a look at that in the other view. We ain't doing nothing else. This is the last drive anyway. Oof. That is terrible. Oof. Can't stop your feet like that, man. You cannot. Oof. Cannot stop your feet like that. Shout out to Teddy, though. Getting rid of that football. Better rep there, my little. Had pressure to the left though. Gave that up. That would be Toronto Armstead and Liam Eikenberg. Liam died worse though. Yeah, that's out of bounds, right? Yeah. That is wide the fuck open. Jalen Waddle. Is Jalen Waddle invisible to, t uh, to Teddy Bridgewater? That might be a real thing. But, anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I would appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.